want the latest and greatest technology without having to sell a kidney, then the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus is the perfect motherboard for you. Get the best gaming performance with the all new PCI Express Gen 4 interface. Steel armor reinforcement makes sure your motherboard can handle the latest and greatest graphics cards with ease, even during transportation. The MPG X570 Gaming Plus boasts the iconic red and black gaming colors. The extended heatsink cooling and frozer heatsink offer powerful cooling for a rock stable sink. The patented propeller blade fan offers great performance at ultra low noise levels. Zero frozer technology makes sure your fan will even stop spinning if the temperature allows it, to eliminate any possible noise. The motherboard is equipped with two M.2 slots for blazing fast storage performance. The primary slot even offers transfer speeds up to 64 gigabit per second by utilizing the PCI Express Gen 4 interface. In the box you can also find an M.2 shield frother for both cooling and protection. Because of its atypical PCB design, the MPG X570 Gaming Plus offers easy access to the SATA ports and front USB header. The motherboard also features USB 3.2 Gen 2, Type A and Type C, with transfer speeds up to 10 gigabit per second. Audio Boot 4 technology gives you the competitive edge in your favorite games. Hear your enemies at pinpoint precision and dominate the game. If you want to learn more about the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus and all of its features, make sure to take a look at the product page. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I have something very exciting to show you guys. This is the brand new X570 Aorus Master. This is the latest motherboard that we had in 2019. In today's video, I'm gonna take this out of the box and show you guys exactly what this motherboard is all about. So, let's start this off by taking the motherboard out of the box. And just to catch you guys up to speed, this is the brand new X570 motherboards that are designed for the new Ryzen 3000 series processors. This one in specific is the X570 Aorus Master. This is our more higher end X570 board. This is probably going to be one of the best selling boards out there on the market because we have so much features, design, and performance put into this package that I think it's a great overall package. But before we talk more about the motherboard, I'm going to set this aside over here and talk about what else comes inside the box. So let's put this off over to the side and try to dig in over here. And what do we get? We get our usual paperwork and instruction manuals. Let's see what else we're going to get in here. Extra cables, good for us. It's always nice to have. Um, also, you're gonna get a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm gonna talk more about this board once we get into the deep dive of that. Wi-Fi is actually really exciting to talk about for this generation. Additional SATA cables, you can expect that. And also something that I wanna point out is we include this nice Gigabyte G connector. So what G connector is, is that, uh, you know when you install your motherboard to your PC and then you're trying to connect all your front cable connectors, you connect them to the G connector, and this just neatly plugs into your motherboard, so it makes it a lot easier for you. Velcro cable ties, extra standoff screws, all that kind of stuff, extra additional cables, RGB cables, and most importantly, you can get additional Aura stickers, a whole bunch of them as well. So, all these accessories, I'm gonna toss them back in the box and put them aside. We're gonna talk about what you guys came here for, which is the master motherboard. Okay, so let's move over to the star of the show, the X570 Aorus Master. And there's a ton of things to talk about on this board. Um, I guess let's talk about design. You guys can clearly see for X570, we've completely redesigned our board. So we took away the orange. We heard you guys, you guys don't like orange. So we went with a very flat black, silver, and gray color scheme. In my opinion, this thing looks really nice, really modern and it looks good for 2019. So the reason why we went with this new color scheme is because it's a lot more color neutral. So regardless of whether you're making a white, a black, a red, or whatever color you're trying to go for, this motherboard will fit in perfectly inside your PC. Also, when it comes to design, you can notice back here we have an integrated I.O. port. I'm going to talk more about the I.O. in just a bit. Okay, so moving over to the back, you can see we have a full Aorus backplate. This is to add extra rigidity and protection to your motherboard because for Aorus, we believe if you're spending this amount of money on the motherboard, you deserve the best quality that Aorus can provide. Let's move over back up front and talk about some of the features that you get on this motherboard. First one I want to point out is the VRM design on this. We have a direct 
14 phase DRM on this motherboard. This is really high end stuff. So for those of you who are considering to pick up this motherboard, just know that you'll be taken care of when it comes to the power delivery and overclocking department with your motherboard. Also related to that, you're gonna see the return of the Aorus Thin Array Heatsink. This thing first made its appearance with the Aorus X470 series. But for X570, we took that design and we've upgraded it. You're gonna see a better heat pipe design, as well as you're gonna see bigger thermal pads on the motherboard. So that's gonna deliver a better overall cooling solution for the X570 Aorus Master. Okay, so the next big feature that I wanna talk about is a really exciting one, PCI Express 4.0. So in the future, you're gonna see more PCIe 4 SSDs, PCIe 4 graphics cards, and this board right here, the X570 Aorus Master, is designed to handle all those faster speeds that are going to be coming out very soon. Okay, so the next big leap in features is going to be the inclusion of Wi-Fi 6. So the Aorus X570 Aorus Master adopts the new 802.11ax standard. So if you pair this motherboard with the AX compatible router, you get much faster transfer speeds than you were previously. Also, related to connectivity, you're going to see back here, you're going to see inclusion of dual LAN. So you have your standard uh, gigabit Ethernet LAN, but you're going to see Realtek 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN on here. So that's just going to be nice when compared with that Wi-Fi technology, you're going to be covered when it comes to connectivity. Also, a new thing that I want to point out is the inclusion of an upgraded ESS Sabre DAC. So this one specifically is the ESS Sabre 9118. So pretty much with this board, you're gonna get a overall better sound experience compared to previous generations. So if you are big into music, if you're big into watching movies or playing games, just know that the Aorus X570 Aorus Master has you taken care of in that department. Okay guys, so this product right here is one of many products that we're launching. This paired with the brand new Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSDs, and the new Aorus monitor and the graphics cards. That's gonna make a great combo. So if you guys wanna find out more about those hardware, follow Aorus on social media and YouTube. We're gonna have a lot more content to come out very soon. Also, if you guys are interested in picking up this specific board, we're gonna leave links below for places to purchase as well as places to get the best prices on here. So make sure to click those links. My name is Van from Aorus and we'll see you guys on the next video. Welcome to the ASUS X570 Motherboard Buyer's Guide. Now, this time, AMD has really knocked it out of the park with an incredible chipset. We have CPUs up to 16 cores. This is bridging the gap between mainstream and high-end desktops. We also have PCIe Gen 4, preparing us for the next generation of performance in both storage and graphics power. Now, this has led us to create our most diverse lineup of motherboards we've ever made in our history for AMD. And that means there's something for everyone, whether you're a gamer, a content creator, or a normal Joe looking to build a new PC, there's definitely something you'll be interested in here. Now, let's take a look at some of the common features we have to offer, and then we'll get down into each board's specifics. First thing I want to point out is the power delivery. We've really beefed it up from the low end all the way to our premium boards here. We wanna make sure we can handle up to 16 core CPUs. So we've made sure even the low end boards are definitely equipped to handle that. We have team power stages on all the boards, no phase doublers here. And the reason is because we wanna be really fast. When that CPU goes from idle to suddenly demanding a lot of power across mini cores, we need to be really fast when we deliver that power. And so we've done that with the team power stages. We've also opted for high layer counts in the PCB. So even on our low end boards, we haven't skimped out. We don't have any four layer PCBs here as you might see from other manufacturers. We've gone with six layer PCBs on even on our lowest end boards. And that gives us a few benefits. The first is PCIe Gen 4 compliance. So we're already prepared for all the current devices that are PCIe Gen 4 and we're ready for whatever might come to the market later. So you're a bit future-proof there, which is really important. We also have improved thermal dissipation. So the extra layers of PCB are gonna help draw heat away from those critical components. And finally, we have more memory stability. 
This is especially important if you're overclocking. Now, another common feature, and something you've probably already noticed, is that all of the boards have active cooling on the chipset. Why is this? Well, this chipset, compared to the last generation, has almost double the bandwidth. So it's running a little hotter, and the active cooling is gonna prevent throttling, prevent performance throttling, no matter how much storage you load up your system with. So it's really important, especially if you're going to load all those slots with next-gen storage. 